Okay, so this is the challenge question for quadrilaterals worksheet number one, and you need to use everything you know about transversals, triangles, and quadrilaterals, okay? So that's why this is a challenge question. So let's examine this uh, shape, okay? First of all, you see that it is a parallelogram. And why is it a parallelogram? You can see there are the two strokes. So these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel as well, okay? So if you have parallel lines, then you can have transversals. So let's look at the first transversal that I see, okay? If these are my parallel lines and this is my transversal, then I can solve for A because these two angles are consecutive interior angles, okay? So, and consecutive interior angles total 180, okay? So, I can do this equation, 120 plus 38 plus A equals 180. So, what did I do? I added this angle plus this angle plus this angle because they are consecutive interior angles, okay? So, put like terms together, 158 plus A equals 180, minus 158 minus 158, A is equal to 22, okay? So, we have a measurement for A, A equals 22. Now, what can we do next? What if this, okay, these are my two parallel lines, but this time, this is my transversal, okay? So, maybe I should erase this one because we're done with that one, and we know that we use that set of parallel lines to get um, to get this measurement, okay? Now, let's use another set, okay? I'm using the same parallel line, but this time, this is my transversal line, see? And what do you see? Okay, you can see that this angle is equal to this angle because they are alternate interior angles okay so let me highlight that this angle is equal to this angle because they are alternate interior angles so angle d is equal to 22 okay or you can use internal angles of a triangle okay because you already have this measurement this measurement and this and d so if you want to use internal angles of a triangle, okay, internal angles of a triangle, so that means that is 38 plus 120 plus D equals 180. So 158 plus D equals 180 minus 158 minus 158. D is equal to 22. So we, we ended up with the same answer using two different ways. Okay, there are many ways of solving, as long as you know the reasoning, okay? So now we know that's 22. What else can we solve for? Okay, uh, maybe let's solve for, let me just change the pen color, this angle. Now it's on a straight line, okay? So I know that this two angles should total what? 180 because there are supplementary angles, okay? So let just let me just call this x, okay? So 41 plus x equals 180 minus 41 minus 41 x is equal to 139. Okay? So this is 139. Now, what can I use to solve for B? You can now see that we have a triangle. 
Okay, can you see the triangle? Okay, I'm going to try to make it clear. And because we see a triangle, then you can use internal angles of a triangle. Okay, so for B, let me just put over here, internal angles of a triangle. So that would be A, which is A plus 139 plus B equals 180. And we know A is 22 plus 139 plus B equals 180. Like terms, so that's uh, 161 plus B equals 180 minus 161 minus 161. B is equal to 19, okay? B is equal to 19. And now that you know that this is 19, okay? Can we solve for C? Yes, we can solve for C because we know that this whole angle is equal to 120 because they are parallelograms and the opposite angles are equal. So this angle is equal to these two angles. So I'm going to use parallelogram. Okay, so that's 120 is equal to 19 plus C. Again, because this opposite angles are equal because they are parallelograms. So 120 is equal to 19 plus C. Okay. So minus 19 minus 19. C is equal to... 101 okay so c is equal to 101 and now can you solve for e of course you can because they are inside a triangle so you can solve for e by using internal angles of a triangle okay so that is E plus 41 plus 101 equals 180. So E plus 142 equals 180 minus 142 minus 142. E is equal to, okay, 838. Okay, because when I add 38 plus 41 plus 101, it will give you 180. Okay. So there you go. We were able to solve for all five angles. Okay. It's a little bit lengthy, but and, and I tell you, there are many ways of doing this as long as you know the rules. Okay. There are many ways of solving this problem. For example, I could have done uh, something like opposite angles also for parallelogram over here, okay? So there are many ways, okay? So try it on your own and you can refer to the solution here, okay?